Uh, welcome to the Applied Sustainability Research Group at Queen's University. Uh, most of you are probably thinking about what exactly is applied sustainability. It's the application of science and innovation to meet human needs indefinitely throughout the future while maintaining the life support system of the planet. And this specifically our group's goals are to create a just sustainable society in it by any means possible. We do that by primarily focusing on the technologies that can move us toward a sustainable state. So our research is basically broken into two components. The first is technical related to solar photovoltaics, which converts sunlight directly into electricity. The other side is mainly focused on policy and how we can implement sustainable technologies such as solar cells into the actual uh, use within the population, uh, but also how we can move technologies to the developing world and not just uh, kind of solve our problems here in Canada and the West. So on the photovoltaic side, we look primarily at uh, material science of solar photovoltaic materials, amorphous um, silicon being an extremely low cost, uh, easy to manufacture material, and indium gallon nitride, which can also be produced at a slightly higher cost, but can have has at least the potential to have extremely high efficiencies. In addition to doing the material science on those materials, we also look at device physics, designing uh, solar cells, the actual electronic devices, based on the, what we've learned from the materials. Then after we've made the cells, uh, we have members of the group working on photovoltaic system design. How do you integrate it into buildings? How do you push the electricity onto the grid? And then finally, uh, how do we create policies in order to be able to do that? At the same time, and not necessarily focused on photovoltaic technology, there's a large uh, cohort within the group that works on open source appropriate technology, or OSAT. Uh, open source, you're probably familiar with the term from the software industry. That, I, the idea behind that is you have massive multi-users uh, or inputters into a system that do massive parallel peer uh, review to take any technology, whether it's a software package or a piece of hardware, and move it to the next level to innovate at a much higher rate than you would be for only the normal closed system of innovation. Appropriate technology refers to technologies that are uh, appropriate for both the community that you're looking at, so it has to be appropriate culturally, economically, and environmentally. And so uh, when you put those together, it is applicable both in the, the developed world and the developing world, uh, because you're trying to move everyone towards a sustainable state. And so our group is working to push energy efficiency, renewable energy, and sustainable technologies to create a just, sustainable state for the entire world.